starting strength, strong lifts, any of these um, lifting plans that are set in stone, that don't take human variance into account. Um, you look at the guys who are running these programs, they're not in shape. They might have been in shape when they were younger on gear. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, the, these programs where it's three sets of five reps on every exercise, no matter what, is, is unnecessary and it's going to be too much for a natural trainee if you're, if you're going to fatigue. And these programs have you um, keeping a set amount of weight for each, each rep and each set. And that, that is not the way to go. You have to tailor that to your individual strength, okay? And you don't need more than one set. As I covered in a lot of articles, just focus on getting stronger. It means the first set's all that matters. Unless you're, unless you're giving less than 100% on your first set, you're never gonna be able to break your personal best on the second set. So there's no point doing a second set, okay? Arthur Jones figured that out back in the 70s. And all you need is one set, okay? But but unfortunately, most people don't listen to them. You will grow on one set. I promise you that. And these convoluted methods are are dangerous, and they're not tailored to your um, strength level, and they're not properly tailored to where you are as a lifter. Just have a look at mine. It's free. It's minimalist, and it's super easy to use. Number twenty, trying to cut weight and eat healthy at the same time. If you're trying to cut weight and you already are a healthy eater, that's no problem. But chances are if you're fat, you're not going to be a healthy guy. And cutting weight for an extended period of time is really fucking hard. But you want to add a restrictive diet of foods that you hate is going to be absolute torture. It is not sustainable and it's, it's a big reason that people are not able to follow through on their diet because they're trying to do two things at once that are very hard. If you're trying to lose 40 pounds uh, in a year on a caloric deficit, that's that's a pound a week. At a pound a week, that's 10 months straight of cutting. That's not easy, okay? For my cuts, I would do maybe two months at a time, and I would do pretty hardcore, pretty hardcore cutting. But 40 pounds in a year um, for 10 months, a pound a week, that is not fucking easy, okay? If you're trying to eat healthy at the same time and you're going from McDonald's or whatever and trying to eat healthy, you're going to fail. You're going to fail in in the first month. Instead of trying to eat healthy, just maybe add some healthy fruits and vegetables into the mix. But otherwise, give yourself a treat to look forward to at the end of the day and, and a cheat meal. You can even just keep the same diet. Just eat less. And you will lose weight. If you are eating a, a caloric deficit, you'll lose weight if you eat an all ice cream diet. You'll lose weight if you eat McDonald's diet, okay? Just stick to what you're eating already. Maybe add some fruits and vegetables in. Just eat less. Or forget about losing weight for now and um, eat the same amount, but eat healthy. Do one or the other. So those are, those are year long. That's a good goal for the year. Okay, losing 40 pounds. Next year, the goal is to eat healthy. Okay, trying to do two of those things, especially if you're trying to quit smoking, like you got a New Year's resolution, you're gonna be healthy and you're going in all three things at once. It's not gonna happen, it's not possible. Do one thing at a time. And that's it. Otherwise, you're gonna crack and you're gonna binge at McDonald's. If, if you want some moderately healthy, like high protein options to look forward to, you can do smoked meat sandwiches, you can do cheeseburgers, like gourmet cheeseburgers with high grade meat, chicken shawarmas, that's stuff that you can eat that's, that's um, not super unhealthy. It's probably more healthy than what you are eating, it's still gonna taste good, and just eat less of it, 